you know what to do. You know what I mean? It's your boy Fly Tide. Fly Tide TV, man. Thank you for tuning to another episode of True Stories, man. This right here, episode six. You know what I mean? And this right here, bro, episode, man. I'm going to be uh, giving you a true story about what happened down in the hood one day, man. And it went down real, man. And like when I say real, as real as it could get, it was as real as it could get, man. It's episode six, man. Thank you for tuning in for True Stories. You already know this. Let's get into it. So, boom. This is a nice, hot summer day. Real talk. This probably was like around, I want to say about June, July ish, 2013. Mm-hmm, 2013. Right in that good old Fair East Side, man. Fair Haven, man. You know what I mean? I'm there at my cousin's crib. Like, I mean, I used to be standing at my cousin's crib all the time. You know what I mean? Around that time, like, for those who know me, I was out there really getting money, man. Like, you know, I was, I was, I was deep in them streets, man. Real talk. You know what I mean? I changed my life around a whole lot. Did a whole 360 now. But at this particular time I'm talking about, I was deep in them streets. So, boom. Me and my um my cousin and husband, you know what I mean? We was out there chilling, whatever. We used to be on the porch every morning, every afternoon, all night. Just rolling up, getting right, chilling. Talking about mad funny stuff. You know what I mean? We just doing our thing, man. That's all, just living, just chilling. So, boom, right across the street. We was on we was in Fairhaven on Fury and Chatham. So those who know about Fairhaven, Fury and Chatham, yeah, you know it get lit over there. Trust it. So we was out there on the porch, Fury and Chatham. I mean, we ran the front porch, across the street from us, the corner store, a little restaurant, and it just be a busy street. So we see everything that's happening. Just by sitting at his porch, it's like the Friday movie. Like, you feel me? We just sit in the porch and we see everything that go on. And at that time, you never know what was going on. You just knew something was gonna go on. So we'd be out there just chilling. Me and him for hours just lamping, lamping. He was a smoker, I was a smoker, so we just did our thing. So boom, on this particular day, we out there chilling, getting right. Like I said, you never know what's gonna happen when it happened, until it happened. So we seen this dude that we knew from around the area. Like he was cool with my pops or whatever, like, you know what I mean? I ain't really know him like that, but I know niggas like my sister or whatever, just talk a little bit. So I knew the nigga kind of like So boom, I ain't know him enough like that to be like, what up to him? But I just knew of him, like, let's put it out. So boom, we're in the porch chilling, smoking. So I see him and his cousin at the time. He ain't have his brother with him yet. It was him and his cousin. They came walking down the street, but they was dusted. They were smoking wet. So they were all wet up and just bugging, wilding, all stuck. They real high, smoking that um, angel dust. Some niggas was high up from off of angel dust. So we see these niggas high up, walking down the street, shirts off, sweating. So at the corner store, let's get into the corner store part now. At the corner store, they be mad young niggas. Like, I mean, blacks, Puerto Ricans chilling together. Mad of them. They had like a, a bike gang, all that. So they used to be together deep. Every time you see one, you see a ton. I promise you, they always roll together deep. There's probably like at least between... 50 to 100 of them, real talk. And they all rode on bikes, and they always be together. And they loyal to each other. So they all in front of the corner store on their bikes, guy. All in front of the corner store. You know what I'm saying? You can't even get to the corner store without walking through these, without walking through them. That's how deep they is. So the two dudes walk up, they had, a, they had the two dudes that was dusty, they had a shorty with them. It was homeboy girl. So them three walked inside, walked to the store, had to walk through everybody, they went in the store. I say like five, ten minutes later, everybody's still out there and everything. It's a nice day. It's summer. It's lit outside right now. So they're in the store. Boom, 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 boom. So they come out the corner store. When they came out the corner store, homeboy, his mom, his cousin was wet up. So he, the homeboy, he thought that one of the young dudes that that was out there in the bikes, I mean, said something to his girl as he was walking away. So he stopped, and he looked back. He was like, what? He, you talking to my girl, nigga? Them niggas looking at him like, nah, we ain't talking to the girl. And to be honest, this girl wasn't all that anyway. She looking like she was on drugs real bad. So he was playing himself anyway. So he looked back, yo, you was talking to my girl, da, da, da. Niggas like, ignoring a nigga, like, nigga, we ain't, we ain't talking about talking to your girl, nigga. If anything, you better get up out of here, nigga. You see how deep we is, nigga? So he's still saying, you talking to my girl, da, 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 da. So homeboy, he was particularly looking at, he was like, man, get up on my face, man, real talk. 
So he looked, he was like, what? You talking to my girl? Now you telling now you tell me you got your face? He just swung on homeboy. Mm. Homeboy. He swung on my homeboy, grab him. So now these two, the dude that's with the beggar gang, and the dude that is wet up, just grab him. So now, all the dudes from the bikes that was sitting there with the bikes, that was sitting in front of the store deep. Why did he, why he started the trouble with them for it? Now they all got into it. So now he fighting one dude. As he fighting one dude, another dude came from behind him, slammed the whole bike on his head. Mm, he fell up. They stomping him, kicking him. But I got to give it to him though. Because despite they was stomping him, kicking him, jumping him, he still kept getting up and he kept fighting. So mine just slammed the bike on him. Mm. They kicking him. He got up out of that. Whoever, what he was doing was whoever he can grab. At the time, he was grabbing them, he was holding them, he was doing them. My head, I was doing him, uh, 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 uh. he doing this nigga who he can grab. Then he'd throw him down, he get up, he'd get up, grab somebody else, whoever he can grab. He was grabbing them. They was whipping them out. But mind you, it's like a hundred of these dudes, right? So it's just him, his cousin, they had his cousin in the corner. So it was like six, seven niggas on his cousin. His cousin was like a stocky heavy set. So it was like six, seven niggas on him in the corner, beating that nigga down. So he's a non-factor. He's just in the corner getting stumped out. Homeboy now, the one that started that thing, they thought somebody was looking at his girl. He the one that's trying to hold it down, but he can't because there's just so many people. So every time he fighting one dude, trying to do whatever, there's another dude right there on him. Another dude on him on this side. So he really couldn't. He was getting jumped like they was getting him. You know what I'm saying? So they beat him down. Throwing bikes all over this nigga and everything. He looking like he drunk now. Now he can't even, he's so dazed out. He's trying to walk away. His girlfriend, she done ran down the street. She going, telling somebody, call the cops, screaming. So boom. Somebody ain't no calling the cops or whatever. Uh, fight going on. Da, 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 da. Mad police pull up. Everybody start scattering. Everybody get the body. Police come, everybody going. So this fool, it was one of the last ones to get up off the ground. Cause mind you, they had a nigga on the ground majority of the whole time. He was getting up, but as soon as he get up, he get right back on the ground. It was jumping. So boom, he get up, cousin get up, whatever they, you know, they getting up, they got jumped out. Niggas look crazy, niggas got beat up, niggas all messed up. You know what I mean, looking crazy, not some of their heads, they got jumped. But at the end of the day, you start the whole thing, they wasn't even worrying about you. You all went up and thinking you harder to beat everybody. You go to run up on dude, and this is the outcome. This is how it turned out. But it get deeper. Stay with me. Let's get into it. So boom, they get up. They notice that me and my um my cousin on the porch, my cousin and husband were in the porch. They notice us. So they come walking over to the porch where we at, and these niggas all. So they come over to the porch. So dude that started the whole thing, he look over at us and go word. Y'all niggas sat there and watched this. Y'all seen this again jump. Y'all ain't try to help us. So we looking at this nigga like he crazy. First of all, we don't hang with you. We don't know you, nigga. We just, you know what I mean? We don't, like, we ain't got nothing in our business. Nigga. We saying he spoke a tree. He's chilling. Ain't got nothing to do with us. So then he goes, that's crazy how we black. And y'all watching this get jumped by all these Puerto Ricans or stuff. Y'all ain't even try to help us and that. He just kept saying that. So now we get hated. We're like, nigga, get up out of here, nigga, before you get jumped by us, nigga. At the end of the day, them little niggas right there that y'all got jumped by, them is our peoples, nigga. If I need them niggas for anything, they're coming through the ride for me, nigga. It ain't about Puerto Rican and black, nigga. I love my Puerto Ricans, nigga. I love my blacks. But at the end of the day, though, you was wrong. You should have left them little niggas alone. Nobody was looking at your girl. And them my little niggas, too. So if I need them niggas for anything, they got me. So I gotta go against the green for them. This is what I'm telling this nigga. So I got a little heated, whatever, whatever. They end up walking away. They end up leaving. Boom. We're still in the porch smoking trees, doing our thing. The young dude scattered out. You know, the cops did a little investigation, asked questions, asked everybody, whatever, whatever. The cops ended up leaving. 20 minutes after the cops left, all the young boys back out there in their bikes in the street, whether they're on their bikes, chilling out there like they normally do on a normal day. But this time, though, a lot of them had left off, though. So now, it's not, they're not as deep no more. Now it's probably like, Six, seven of them now. 
because a lot of everybody went to other places real quick. There was a hot stage in me, but so now it was like six, seven of them out there chilling. So boom, here come dude. He came back, him, his cousin, but this time they had their brother with him. They came walking back up the street, but now this time they're not wet up and all that. Now, mind you, a half hour that went by to an hour. Some niggas not high up, and when they're they regular, they sober. Dude, that guy jumped, his cousin and his brother now. All three of them came walking back. So on their way walking back, right before they get to the store, it was like an empty field right there. Like an empty little lot. I mean, young dudes being there wheeling their bikes and all that. So it was probably like two dudes up in there at the time. The other ones in front of the store, it's like two dudes and an empty lot on their bikes. They ain't see um the dude that they didn't see the dudes walking up. So homeboy, his cousin, I got jumped, and the brother came walking up and noticed them in the lot on the bikes first. But the ones I was in the lot on the bike, them niggas was like real little niggas though. Like them niggas probably was like 14, 15, mind you. The niggas that got jumped. These niggas is grown men. These niggas like motherfucking 34, 35, 36. Them niggas older. The dudes in the lot. Them niggas probably like 14, 15 in the bike. So they go in there and they go and say, run inside the lot when they see the niggas in here. Grab them little niggas up. Slam them niggas. Slam their bikes on them, punching them little niggas in their head, punching them up. You know what I mean? Y'all jumped us, right? Huh? Take this. <laughs> Slam the bikes on them. So they thought they was doing something. So after they got done jumping them, they went walking to the corner store. Now they're trying to, whoever they see out there by the corner store, they're trying to run up on them and jump them. So now they get by the corner store, there's like five of them out there. And these niggas more like 16, 17, 18. They all in front of the store. So when they walk up to them, after they jumped the little dudes, they walked up to them in front of the store. Now they started all going. They fighting again now. So now it was live all over again. But it's not as many dudes on the bikes now. It was like five of them. And the three of them. So now it's more even now in a way. So they going. Do, 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 do. They fighting each other, going sick, whatever, whatever. The Puerto Ricans backing up, running a little bit. Because mind you, these niggas was older niggas. So they throwing crazy punches. These grown men. So the Puerto Ricans kind of backing up a little bit. Coming to them, but backing up, coming to them. Fighting a little bit, backing up. Then they end up scattering off. They, they kind of like ran them off. They in the back no, because the brother, he acted like he had a little hammer on him, whatever he wanted to go. You know what I mean? So that made all of them back up and be out. So they chasing them. They couldn't catch me talking junk. Yeah, nigga. What? We coming to the store every day to fight y'all little niggas now. Yeah, I jumped that shit and I messed up. That shouldn't did that. We come every day to fight y'all niggas. So now the store cleared again. They just the three of them out there. They cleared everybody, the little people that was, the little bit of people that was out there, they cleared them out. We still on the porch. So mind you, it's me, my big mom's on the porch. My cousin and her husband, we all out there deep now because we just told them all what happened. So now everybody on the porch, we all out there. And they came back to me, watch it again. So now these niggas come back over to us again. They walk over to the porch, so what up with y'all niggas? What y'all want to do? What's good with y'all niggas? So we going to say, what nigga, what up then? Nigga? Come in this gate. So I was about to get up to go out the gate. My cousin, her husband told me, now sit back real quick. And let them niggas come in my gate. Because when they come in my gate, now I can wild out. So he telling them niggas, come in the gate. Come in the gate. I'm standing there. I'm vexed now because at first I was trying to chill, but now I'm vexed. I'm ready to wild out. I got the banger on. I, I mean, it's, it's on. Come in this gate, nigga. So they standing there going back and forth, back and forth. My baby mom's cussing him out. My cousin cussing him out. Get the F away from my yard. Da, 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 da. They walking away. The nigga tells me, yeah, I know your father, nigga. F that nigga too. And this and that. Man, you talking crazy, but you was under my father's wing. My father had you working for him, nigga, taking care of you when you had nothing. But he talking all that crazy. Up, father, da, 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 da. I'm like, what up? They come in this gate. But whatever they did, they would not come in that gate. They were talking all this reckless talk. They would not come in that gate. So eventually they ended up walking off, whatever, because it started getting heated. My cousins, my cousin and my baby mom's arguing with them. We all standing right there. There was just a lot of chaos and a mix of everything going on. So the cops came right through again, because I guess another notes neighbor called the cops. That thing got cleared out again. That was just a real crazy true story that jumped off in the summertime, and that was real. Everything I told y'all were, were, if you could have been there to see it, you would have seen a clearer HD picture of what I just told y'all. But that was all true. And I think you for tuning in for True Stories episode six, and I'm gonna have more coming every Sunday at 10 o'clock a.m. Man, I'm be dropping my true stories for me to you. So remember, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend to tune in. To true stories every Sunday at 10 a.m. sharp. I'm gonna keep them coming, man. Thank y'all for the love and support to all my loyal followers and stuff, man. I thank y'all and I appreciate y'all. I'm gonna keep these short videos coming. I'm gonna keep these true stories coming, man. Thank y'all for the love. Peace. It's your boy Fly Tie TV. I'm checking out. Peace. <laughs>